me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. You know, no, you're welcome to keep those terrible wonders to yourself. I, I could live well and probably a lot longer if I didn't know about them. Hello, everyone. Science Viking here, and I'm back to Darkest Dungeon. Let's see. So, Reynold is still cooped up. All of our two Vestals are, um, are, oh, we have three Vestals, but our highest ranked Vestal is still only resolve level one, so I'm not sending them on a mid-difficulty mission, so we can't really put together a mid-difficulty uh, mission just yet. Alright, let's see. Alright. And also, I've learned, let see, where's the option? I, one of my commenters pointed out, uh, oh, this is where the button is. It is actually possible to trade um, heirlooms into other kinds of heirlooms. So I can trade busts for crests or for portraits. So let's see. The uh, guild uses um, portraits and crests. What's the blacksmith use? The blacksmith uses um, deeds and crests. Alright. Let's suppose I wanted to upgrade the guild, because it's really the thing that I most need to upgrade. So I can give up busts to get. Let's see. Um, oh, this changes what I'm trying to get. Wait. Alright, so... Let's see, I can trade busts for crests. I can trade crests for busts, but... Oh, okay, so this is what I'm trading, this is how many I'm trading. So, let's suppose I wanted to trade busts for portraits. Three busts would get me one portrait. And yes, yeah, six would get me two. Okay, so... I have nine, and then three busts would get me three crests, so one bust would get me one crest. So, doing a little bit of math, I do not have enough busts to trade for, portrait, for enough portraits and crests to um, level up my instructor mastery. I do, however, want to level up my Instructor Mastery uh, later when I have the opportunity to do so. Alright, let's dismiss this for now. Thank you, um, Rem12 is the commenter who told me I could do that. Thank you for that, that's going to make things a lot more uh, manageable. What does the Bounty Hunter have? Oh right, I remember. Not bad, but I'm not dismissing anyone for it. I would at least seriously consider dismissing one of my other heroes to get another Plague Doctor, because we only have one. Anyway, over at the guild. Does Bertrand have battlefield medicine? No, he does not. He should. Even though I'm not using him on the next mission. Next question is, who is going on the next mission? Let's see. I'll send Gwyffert. Uh, one of the Vestals is going. I'm going to send the Vestal who is in better mental shape, but who is Resolve level 1. So I'm leveling up Divine Comfort and Divine Grace. And, yeah, let's level up Dazzling Light. Let's see, Rames can't go. Peroy, I think, should go. Along with, um, my... Resolve level, yeah, my resolve level zero um, leper is going. So, let's see what he's got. Let's see. Chop, but not hue, so I'm going to have him learn hue. He has solemnity. He has withstand, which does mark him, which makes enemies more likely to target him. And he also has revenge, which increases his attack power at the cost of making him less likely to dodge and making him take more damage. 
Do I want to learn Purge? I'm not sure. I mean, Purge is a good ability, but as for Clarinel, I think Clarinel is pretty well upgraded. The Lunge is a good move. So you have a Marrier. Um, no, nah, I think Marrier is good. I'm gonna see if the uh, Nomad Wagon has anything good. Let's see, the Steady Bracer. Debuff Charm I've seen before. Blight Charm. Hmm. The Health Stone could actually be very useful in the hands of a uh, Leper, who already has very low speed, so he's already pretty much going to go last but also has a very high maximum HP, and so a percentage boost to his maximum HP would go very far. So I'm going to buy that. The other thing is, let's check up equipment a little bit. Um, take the surgical gloves off of the leper, because they are going to... Uh... Yeah, Gwyford is actually going on a mission. All right, I'd say we're ready. Let's embark. Yeah, we're not attempting a medium difficulty quest. Who all is going? Rames is out, so... Right, Rames is out. Which man-at-arms are you? You're Marrier, you're going. Uh... Let's see, do I want to send... Yeah, I'm... You know what, I'll go with Paroi. This will probably cause his uh, stress level to reach the point where he needs to rest. And then the uh, rank zero uh, leper is going. Let's change up some equipment. So the leper gets the surgical gloves and the health stone. What else have we got? I should probably sell the lock of patience. Not using the bloodthirst ring right now. The cudgel weight is going to the houndmaster. And yeah, let's give him the cudgel weight, which is higher stun chance. And I believe he has skills that inflict debuffs, so let's give him the debuff of the charm. And let's see, so hounds rush. Cry Havoc, Guard Ally, Target Whistle. Except the only stun skill that he has is Blackjack, which he doesn't actually have. So never mind on the Cudgel Weight, because I don't want the reduced speed. Let's go with the Debuff Charm instead. Alright. And Cardinal is being dropped for the other Vestal. And the other Vestal already has the Churgeon's Charm. And... Hmm. Is there anything else I want to give her? I think I'll actually give her the Archer's Ring, because I believe her moves are... Her. Actually, no, the Archer's Ring should go to the... Uh, the Archer's Ring should go to the Houndmaster, because I believe his moves are considered uh, ranged. Alright, where are we going? How will we get there? Okay, these are both the same level, so... Alright, so we can explore 90% of rooms and we'll get the Feather Crystal. And then nine crests and 7,500 gold. We can do a short mission where we get another sickening satchel and three crests. We can do a medium mission where we have to find three relics. Uh, the reward would have to be pretty amazing to motivate me to do that. And the camouflage cloak is actually not amazing enough to motivate me to do that. Kill the Siren, or 
get us a legendary bracer. That would be very useful on a, uh, I wanted to call him a plague doctor, but on a leper. And 12 crests. You know what? We're taking a bit of a risk doing this, but I think we can handle the siren, and the rewards are amazing. Alright. Let's provision. Cleanse items and prevent maladies. Right, actually, we'll buy another medicinal herbs. And... Grab a couple of shovels. Pretty large amount of food, because we're going to be camping. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with the full 12. Some bandages, some anti-venom. 3 and 3 is probably good. And numerous torches. Alright, do we want any more of anything? Uh, I think we're ready. Alright, embark. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Faithful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. I think we're going to find out. Okay, I'm going this way because there isn't a trap. Alright, and we have our first curio. Chest contains treasure. Also, I apparently failed to notice this for 12 parts, but a commenter pointed out to me that I can drop an item into this box to use the item on a curio. And so, for instance, I could potentially use medicinal herbs on the barnacle crusted chest to prevent it from causing disease if it otherwise would have caused disease. In this case, I don't think there's much risk of that, so I'm just going to open it. But thanks for, thanks for pointing that one out to me. So, to give an example, I'm going to try using medicinal herbs on the fish carcass, and it allows me to get a lot, actually. Some food, bandages, and some money. Okay! Once again, thanks to commenter Rem12 for explaining that to me, because apparently I, was n I didn't manage to pick up on that on my own. I mean, I do kind of have a talent for failing to notice things, so thank you for pointing that out. Alright, I'm going to open up with Hounds Harry. Alright. Chop on the Cultist Brawler. Let's see if we can get him out of the fight. He's gone. Retribution on... Let's hit the corpse so we can wear it down. Alright. Dazzling Light. Let's see if we can stun the Guardian. We can! Alright, and we got Accusation. That's always worrying. Plus 15 stress until camp. And now we have Spear Fishing. Alright. And now he gets to go again. Okay. Let's see if we can stun the Guardian again. No, if you resisted it this time. I'm going to use Defender on the, uh, the Houndmaster. I guess that allows me to punish Spearfishing by doing that. Hound's Harry. Alright, that corpse will disappear soon. And Guarding doesn't protect you from bleed damage. Oh, well, let's use... I forgot to equip Hugh. I do that a lot. Well, let's use Chop. And the corpse is down. 
And so now he uses spear fishing on the Vestal. Let's use divine. I also forgot to equip divine comfort. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> the guy in charge clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Apparently. Well, this is going to be interesting. I forgot to equip. Even the boldest gaze. I forgot to equip most of our better abilities. Oh, let's use crush on the uh, madman so that he's just out. Give and that no just quarter. leaves the guardian. Oh, chop. And crush. That devastating blow. We hold as one and strike as one. And I'm going to use divine grace because this guy will die on his next turn due to bleeding. So for you, Solemnity, restore your one missing hit point, and de-stress. And for you, Cry Havoc, same reason. And that's the end of that. And we already found some useful stuff. Um, if I have to give something up, I'm giving up the holy water. Oh! I can apparently change. I it seems like I can change which skills a hero has equipped while we're in the field. So let's drop hand of light for divine comfort, and for you, let's drop revenge for Hugh. <laughs> Thirteen episodes in, but I'm finally learning. A strange presence is felt. I suspect that that's a job for holy water, but I don't have any, so I don't really want to risk that. Okay, this is definitely not the goal. I'm betting this this is a quest that has a boss in it. I'm betting this is where the boss is. So in the meantime, let's go through here. Oh, we have a shovel. Mariner. Another misfortune. Also, so that stressed the entire team before we even had a uh, well, chance to use the shovel. Measure. Awarded okay. to the brave and the foolhardy alike. What can we safely drop? Um, dog traits increase the hounds of vigor for a short time. I think I'm willing to give those up. We may have over prepared a little bit for this mission. I think I'm torch. Okay, so this room just has nothing. Let's go this way then. Also, it seems, but I'm not certain, that your cool scouting chance... Bring to life. Okay, that's With worrying. Purpose. It seems, but I'm not certain, that your scouting chance increases when, uh, the more missions you have completed in a particular area. So, your, like, mastery level, I think it's called, goes up for a particular segment of the manor, the more quests you complete in that segment of the manor. And then, one of the effects of your mastery level is increasing your scouting chance. Nobody has told me that, I've just kind of, I think that's the way it works. I'll risk it, let's see what happens. Coral is abrasive and unnerving. That's a problem. I'm supposed to be the only thing that's abrasive Watch and unnerving here. Okay, lighting up another torch. Okay, we've got human enemies. Okay, starting off with Hounds Harry. We're gonna be getting blanket fire from this guy, so if we have a way of getting rid of him quickly. Let's start with, um... Do I want to do Defender and then Retribution, or Retribution and then Defender? I'll use Retribution first, because blanket fire hits the entire part. Alright. Dazzling Light can't hit the one all the way in the back, so hit the one all the way in the front. Alright, he's stunned. That's good. Hugh and Chop both do the same thing. So I'm just gonna use Chop. Though the leper's stress level is a little high. Ringing ears. Ah. Blood vision. The end approaches. And blanket fire. Yep, blanket fire. But this is why I'm really glad that I have retribution active. And he gets to go 
Well, this should finish him. Okay, he's at least gone now. He's done a lot of damage, but he's gone. And I do feel vindicated in using um, Retribution, because we wouldn't have hit him otherwise. I also meant to use Hound's Harry, but I suppose we're, we're less one enemy. Alright, no point in using Defender now, because I think this guy can only attack the front two positions. So just use Crush. That hurt. You know, I'm just gonna have you use Solemnity for now. I wanna do a little bit of healing and a little bit of de-stressing. Alright, Divine Comfort. Didn't de-stress anyone, but it did heal them. And let's use Crush. Yeah, Bellow has no chance of inflicting stun. Well, Divine Comfort again. You can always hope for critical healing to reduce stress. But at least keeping characters physically healthy is still good. Alright, and... Retribution is worn off. Well, Hound's Rush, finish him. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Okay, lighting the torch immediately. The way is lit. The path is clear. Right. We require only the strength to follow it. Yep. It's been explained to me that if I keep the, um... If I keep these notes at the end of the quest, that will cause them to stop appearing as loot, and then I can look them up any time. I'm still not going to do that for this one, just because I'm already a little low on inventory space. I am going to bandage the uh, two more fragile team members. The leper is the most durable and can heal himself, so I'm actually going to let him walk it off. Alright, we got... Okay, we don't have room for that portrait. What to draw? Hmm. What to draw? You know, I'm actually dropping the extra food because we're because looking at the map. Oh, we have some successful scouting. We're actually pretty close to the full end of this mission already. So we don't need to have 30 food. 24 food should be plenty. So I'm going to drop that stack of food to keep a portrait. And if we can make it, I want to um have everyone rest up here so we can be freshly rested when we take on the boss. And we've salvaged an unburnt torch. We have torch beyond measure, which the will light, light immediately. The promise of safety. And a relatively weak group of Pelagy. Let's start with Hound's Harry. Really need to upgrade Hound's Harry. Okay, you could not have picked a better target for Stress Wave, even if it hadn't. Let's see where it's Slash, Retribution, and hit the one all the way in the back. One of the cool things about hitting the enemies in the back, it doesn't matter if they leave corpses. Okay, Divine Comfort. A momentary abatement. Okay. Hugh. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Alright. That's not good. And his resolve is tested. And he's selfish, that's... Self-preservation is paramount, at any cost. Alright, this should finish that one off. Nope, it just injured him. Crush on the one in the back. Alright, Hugh. Yep, and the corpse is gone too. A faint hope blossoms. Divine Grace on the most injured team member. Stress Wave seems like you can hit any combination of heroes. Alright, lighting that extra torch. But Stress Wave seems to be able to hit any combination of heroes that it wants to. Okay. Dazzling Light on the guy all the way in front, because he can hit quite hard. Hound's Harry. 
Get them all bleeding. Retribution on uh, Brigand Cutthroat. Because Retribution will allow me to punish Blanket Fire. Alright, chop on the guy in the front. We just need to get rid of his hit points. The Brigand Cutthroat is actually the least dangerous. I mean, he's still a threat because everything in this game is a threat. He's the one we can most easily manage. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Rain of whips. <laughs> that was helpful. And why did no one move to stop that? Well, that caused a lot of stress. Yeah, it starts the flow. You have your own methods, and they apparently involve just standing still and letting the enemy kill you. Unbalanced. Ah, great. And how his resolve is tested. Fearful. Fear and frailty. All must Fire come to ruin. Frailty. There is no escape. Okay, crush the guy who can use blanket fire. Alright, he's out. He's out of Great the fight. The that that just leaves the blood own. letter. Ah, crap. Shake it off. Alright. Divine Grace. Let's keep the leper from dying. Okay. Let's see. Use Solemnity. Okay, and now you finally get to do something. So first I am going to use a bandage on you. And second, Hound's Rush. Let's see if you can finish this guy off. Nope, but he's bleeding even more now. You use Solemnity again. And finish him off with Crush. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. Okay, step one, I'm feeding the food to people immediately. Step two, okay. Completely unsuccessful with scouting, so we're going to have to camp here. Because, honestly, I'm not risking two more rooms that could have room in hallway battles when we're in this bad of shape. So light up the firewood. Gather and close, feast. And tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. Alright, now let's see what else we've got. Um, pep Talk, minus 15% stress for four battles. Prey. Prey is actually pretty good. Let's see, Heal prevents a nighttime ambush, which that happened last time. Er, Sanctuary prevents a nighttime ambush. Nobody has mortality debuffs, so I'm not sure about that. Let's see, you have Hound's Watch. Which also prevents a nighttime ambush, but also reduces the chance of us being surprised and increases the chance of the enemy being surprised. So, Hound's Watch is better. Let's see. You have pep talk and then some abilities to buff people. You could obviously let the mask down. But, Reflection reduces your stress by almost as much and gives you some useful buffs. So I'm going to start by having you use Reflection. Alright. I'm going to have you use Prey. And then, uh... Next thing is we need a, we need a watch. So I'm going to use Hound's Watch. Apparently... Did that not work, or because of his affliction? And then I'm going to use Pep Talk. I'm actually going to use it on the Hound Master, because he's the one in the worst shape. And that's all we can do, so let's rest. This will be the easiest pay I've ever received. Okay, the stress levels are still a bit high. And we have three more missions, three more rooms left, one of which contains a boss. Maybe we should pause and consider a return to town.
Alright, I'm gonna use the last of the bandages to fix the last of the bleeding. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Alright. Yes, divine lords, I am here. Uh, so he's gained a new trait. Manslayer, which I'm guessing means that he, uh, does more damage to human enemies. Alright, we surprise the enemy. Okay. I was gonna say, please tell me that that one at least means he's going to do something. Okay, they're all bleeding. That's good. Retribution on, um... Let's go with the one all the way in the front. Right. And Dazzling Light to try and stun the Guardian. Because he's the most dangerous. And it worked! And Hugh. Spearfishing. Well, it missed this time, but we're gonna need to make use of Defender. Alright, Stress Wave on the person who can most take it. Alright, and he just, his stun wears off. Alright, he's healing his teammates, but he's also kind of in the process of dying. Alright. Divine Comfort. Once again, hoping for a critical and not getting it. Ah! You're gonna need Solemnity next turn. How long I have longed to die, and yet now I long to survive. Oh, spear fishing. You're in for a nasty surprise. You spear fished up a shark. Oh, let's use Hound's Harry again. Barnacle Barrier. Use Defender on the Vestal for now. And use Hugh. In hindsight, I probably actually should have had him use Solemnity. <laughs> and, well, that's the Shaman gone. Alright, Divine Grace on the Leper. Okay, you move forward too to get yourself back into position, most approximately. Now he's spear fishing the leper. And Hound's Harry again. And they all take more bleeding damage. And Retribution is worn off. I take advantage of my death wish for shame! Yes, I take advantage of your death wish by moving you back and increasing your chance to survive. Alright, Retribution. And let's kill the Grouper. Close enough. Okay. And Hound's Rush on the, on the guard again. And Divine Comfort, because enough different people are injured that we need it. And move forward one. Now we're in something that at least approximately resembles our original formation, Hound's Hand. They are det this guy, this grouper is determined to survive. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. And crush. That's the end of the grouper, high prot and all. And let's take all of it. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's the option to return us to our default party order. All right. I'm skipping that curio and moving to this room, and we'll see what we get. Okay. We have shovels for a reason. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, 
and purpose is made clear. Okay, and we have another free torch. I'm seriously contemplating backing out of this mission if we, uh, before we take on, uh, oh, great, we have a thrall now. Alright. Hounds rush on the thrall. This ha! Critical. Power. Alright. Dazzling light on the thrall, and it's down. Okay. Well, the most dangerous enemy is out of there. Now let's actually use Hue. Is that actually? Let's use Chop on the Deep Stinger and see if we can get rid of it. All right, the Deep Stinger is down. Rain in the forest. Retribution on the other Deep Stinger because I can't be certain that the leper will be able to do that again. The reward will still be mine to claim. Okay, Barnacle Barrier. That's not going to protect you from retribution, though. Great, and now he has a uh, plague and is stunned, in addition to bitching at everyone. Salty gouge. Ow. Alright. Let's use Hugh this time. Ah, didn't kill it. Ah, quit bitching! Alright, Divine... Actually, I'm gonna use Dazzling Lead. I think I can kill the Deep Stinger. Oh, right, it's guarded. Well, I stunned the Guardian. That's still wrong. Star is born. And crush on the Guardian. Shocking. Deer before the forest fire. All right, um, just use chop. Of course, his prot value is frighteningly high. Divine comfort, because we all really need some healing. Sedated. And crush. The hound deserves more praise than any of you. Well, prove it. You just did! Good! And that this fight is over, so just use Defender so we can use up the turn. Doesn't really matter who you're defending. Divine Comfort. And here's hoping I get to use Solemnity, too. I do! Solemnity. And Cry Havoc. Yep, I just get to spend an entire round healing us in various ways. Before he dies. Right. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, so we're basically at the end. So I'm going to have everyone feast until they're full, or at least fully healed. Right, and these two are already at full health. And. No pain, no gain. I'm going to attempt this boss fight anyway. What have we here? An unburnt torch. Alright. Oh, he's full. Well, he's almost at full health. Alright. Stress wave on the guy whose stress level is already dangerously high. That would have felled a lesser being. And Ren for the old gods. It still feels like good news when they primarily target people whose stress level is um, below 100 who are already afflicted. Because they can't really make things worse. Unless they actually hit 200 and make them have a heart attack. Whereas if they were to target, say, the Vestal, that could cause the Vestal's resolve to be tested. Alright. Divine Comfort. Yes, critical healing. I needed that stress decrease. Take me quick, I have suffered over long. Alright. Let's go with Chop to focus on completely eliminating one brawler. And Hound's Harry. Right. 
stress wave, which we punished it for. Yep, rent for the old gods. Well, why don't you die for the old gods? You did die for the old gods. All right, divine comfort. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pit right. of battle. And Hugh. A decisive pummeling. Fog before sunrise. And crush. And that is how we do that. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Unfortunately, it is a near certainty that the Vestal's resolve will be Radiance, tested. May we find victory. 119 hit points. Remade the poor girl in their image. All right, let's start with dazzling light. And their slave. Ha! <laughs> Burn in the holy flame. And chop. Retribution. Yes, him being marked will lead to him taking more damage, but uh, retaliatory attacks are very useful. Great, you're messing up our formation already. Well, Hounds Rush. Let's see if we can get that thing bleeding. Right. Song of Desire. What does that do? Uh, that's not good. That is thoroughly not good. It's for the tides. And she's come out. Her resolve has been tested and she's come out no hopeless. Hope in this hell. No hope at all. Ah, great. This is bad. This is apocalyptically bad. Alright. Okay, move forward one. I've already got Retribution. Add Defender on top of that. We follow our instincts. Okay, that was at least somewhat helpful. Okay, so she's not back permanently. Alright. Chop on the Siren. Impressive. We just need to focus on killing the Siren if we can. The Guardian may well end up... Uh, Live forever here with my love. Let's get crush. Well, that did a lot of damage. Okay, that missed at least. All right. Divine Grace. We do need as much of a dick as he's being right now. We do need the Houndmaster alive. Barnacle Barrier. It's not good. Well, Hounds rush on the grouper or on the guardian. I mean. Really missing, uh, what's his name right now? Our Plague Doctor. Alright. You take advantage of my death wish. For shame! Ah, uh, great. Great, now we're all bleeding, too. Dazzling light. Let's see if we can at least stun the guardian. Right. Easy girl, best to sit this one out. And of course he gets dropped back in the position all the way in the back where he's the least helpful. And she immediately gets to use Song of Desire on the uh This is... Alright. Alright. Octa Cestus. I normally keep the Vestal in the back to prevent that. back one. You... I'll risk it. Hound's Harry. 
It means we're gonna bleed the leper. We need the siren bleeding. Crush. Alright, we may survive. We may not survive, but we may survive. Okay, Retribution is causing a lot of damage, that is good. Unfortunately, some of it is to our teammates. Okay. And Marrier's resolve is tested, and he's paranoid! Let's use Divine Comfort to heal everyone so no one is at death's door. Alright. You moved forward, jackass! Well, I suppose it's helpful now because you're in the back. Alright, Hound's Rush. Uh, I meant Hound's Rush, but I used Hound's Harry. Oops. Okay. You still... Alright, Crush on, uh... Sirens down to below half health. Alright. I care not about judgment, I tire of sleep. Alright, divine comfort. Okay, fortunately the guy who ref who rejected it is also the one who's the most sturdy yet. Alright. Song of Desire on the same guy again. Alright. Even mighty summer yields to awesome winter. All right. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Ah, great. That could kill him, but it missed. All right. Hounds Harry, I'm willing. Would have been nice if that had hit someone. Retribution on the siren. Okay. He still has repost. Okay, so you can't receive a death blow if it causes zero damage. I am just a shadow in the dark, nothing at all. Okay, withstand. That's actually good, because... Yeah, okay, so you cannot be, you cannot be death blowed by an attack that does not cause damage, or by an attack that does not hit. Octocestus is going to be retaliated against. 36 hit points left. I feel like selfish doesn't entirely work as the description of that because... Uh, great. Because he keeps doing things that are going to get himself killed. Now it comes to it, I am not ready for release. Okay, at least that missed. Okay. Divine Comfort, get the Houndmaster off of Death's door because his ability to inflict bleeding is important. Alright. Hound's Harry. Because Hound's Harry isn't countered by being defended. Though I just realized Defender had probably already worn off by that hadn't it. Okay. He may well have a heart attack. Perfect. He's not using Barnacle Barrier to protect the Siren. Alright. Alright. Okay, move forward. That'll give the Vestal at least a little bit more protection. Oh, right, you can't use Hound's Rush in this position. Well then, use Hound's Harry because inflicting bleeding damage on the Siren is kind of is still part of what's keeping us alive. All right, heal everyone. We may win. All right. And of course, she gets the leper again.
retribution on the siren herself again. Down to 30 hit points, though it frightens me how long it took to take away 6 hit points. Ah, that had to miss. What? I've never seen anyone do that before. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. And Peroy is also at death's door. And now he's gone More because dust. the heart attack finished him off. Ashes. More disappointment. Alright. Move yourself back one. This could very well be our first party wipe. Crush. Seven damage. Alright, that's at least more progress. She keeps dodging retribution. Alright, great. Now the Vestal's at death's door. And also about to have a heart attack. Yep. Okay, that's most of the team. Alright. And oh he can't you can resist it. Alright. Crush. Ah Why did that have to miss? Okay. Ugh, and, blood he... soaks the soil. and it was bleeding out that was the death blow for that. Right. Okay, um... Barnacle Barrier now. Retribution. Masterfully executed. Alright, All right, down to 15 hit points. Right. You're down to 4. Pressure crash. Okay, down to 12. I'm pushing this to the end. I'm taking this all the way to the end. I'm going to try to actually take the siren down. Crush. Right. Okay, th that was a mutual dodge. Okay, the siren is alone now. I can probably kill it if Crush hits once. Okay, let's summon another guardian. Alright, now I just need one counter attack to hit. And, of course, Retribution wears off at that moment. Okay, Retribution, because that way if it doesn't hit, I still get in the post. That... I was... I was expecting to have a party wipe there. Well, let's take back everyone's equipment. So we're step one dropping all of the usable stuff. That leaves the lucky dice, which are jester only, and the healing armlet, which increases the healing received by a leper. I want to keep that, so I'm dropping the journal page. And I can get let's see, the lucky dice. Are they worth more than something we do have? They will probably sell for more than six hundred gold. So I'm going to drop the 600 gold in exchange for the lucky dice. I... <laughs> I'm not sure I can believe that happened. Oh, and there's even an achievement for it. Lone Survivor. That's 6,500 gold worth of loot plus 4,500 worth of rewards. Plus the legendary bracer. And we found 12 uh, crests, and we were also rewarded with 12 crests.
and one portrait. Well, the one survivor is up to resolve level two. And we did lose a Vestal. This also means we have room for more heroes. All the decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. And yep, we've actually completed a goal all the way down here by defeating the Siren. Alright, let's see if we've got anybody new in Stagecoach. Two Houndmasters and a Man at Arms. Anyway, after that uh, wild emotional roller coaster, I think it's actually about time to end for this week. So, thank you all for watching. I love you all, and I will see you next time when we spend the bounty that we just got from that mission. See you then.